In this video, we're going to show you how customers using the advanced security license on the Meraki MX are able to very simply enable powerful Cisco security technologies and then monitor how those technologies are working for their network. To set up the threat protection technologies, one would just have to go to the configure section and select threat protection. And in this section, this would initially be set to disabled. And to enable these very high power market leading Cisco technologies like advanced malware protection to ban malicious files and Cisco snort intrusion detection and prevention to ban malicious traffic, one would simply have to click enabled. And here we can see some whitelisted URLs that we have populated, but that is it. With a click of a button, I've just enabled advanced malware protection. Similarly, with Snort IPS, I would simply set this into prevention mode, and it would select a balanced rule set as default, but I could also choose to prioritize security or connectivity. You can learn more about that via the Meraki documentation page. But that's it. From a configuration perspective, I just enabled very high power Cisco technologies on my Meraki MX and in my network. So now if I want to monitor how those technologies are working, I would go over to the Security Center, which is a very nice dashboard that gives us a view of events over time in our network. So these are events. It could be file downloads that have been blocked, URL patterns that have been banned from our network. And I could see that over time on the top bar here. I can also see most affected clients in my network. So for particular smartphone or MacBook has been affected more often than others. I can see that here. I can also see the most prevalent threats in my network and choose to find more information about that threat. For example, here I can click on this blog post that links me with more information from Cisco's Talos team of researchers about this specific threat. On the right side, I can see the IP addresses that threats are attempting to enter my network from as well as particular geographies, countries, or regions where those threats are coming from. And then at the bottom, I can see the most affected operating systems. So that's on the summary portion of the Security Center. Now, if I go over to the events section, I can see a list of all the different events that have been, for example, blocked on my network here. And again, I can click on these particular threats. I can choose to whitelist these threats and allow them in my network if they, I deem them not to be malicious. Or I can take particular actions, inspect a packet, and find more information there. I can also choose to search for a particular snort rule set. If I've heard of a recent malware attack and I would like to make sure that my network has been blocking that threat, I can search that there and see that, yes, I have been blocking those threats in my network. So that's a really nice video that shows you the simplicity of configuring Meraki high power security that is integrated into the MX from Cisco, as well as monitoring those events on your network.